Hey guys, it's Monkle Zonkey. What's up? So for this video, I'm going to be showing you guys a really cool aura. Uh, many of you might know about this. When this aura came out, you know, a few months after all the auras came out, so, you know, a year and a half, two years ago, something like that. Something along those lines, we'll just go with that. Um, the Jack of Trades aura, you might know about this. Uh, fairly recently, they had an update where they also added, you can upgrade the Jack of Trades aura, so you can get Master Jack of Trades and Supreme Jack of Trades. And I got Supreme Jack of Trades, and it costs a whole ton of loyalty points. Um, it costs 115k loyalty points to get Jack of Trades and get it all the way upgraded. So, um, if you just want a rough estimate on how many points you're going to need, you're going to need 115k. Um, so, what I'm going to be showing you guys here on how is how to do your Jack of Trades. Because for the regular Jack of Trades, you only need to do 10 skills to fully complete it. Um, but you need 15 skills for the Master Jack of Trades, and you need to do 20 skills for the Supreme Jack of Trades. Now, you might be a bit overwhelmed by this and say, how am I supposed to do 20 skills all at once? Well, I'm going to show you guys a really, really easy way to do all 20 of your skills right away, and it hardly takes any time. So this is the stuff that you need in your inventory. You need a Wicked Hood. I'm sure all of you have that. If not, just go to Birth Orb and you get a free one. Um, I have a Crystal Bow. You can use any kind of bow. It really does not matter. A Karasi sword or any kind of melee weapon, it really does not matter. Um, a gold ore, I would recommend to have either a gold or silver ore because you're going to be using this to craft as well. I have a summoning pouch, Barker Toads are like the cheapest ones to buy, um, so I'd recommend to do those. Uh, any kind of raw food and a grimy herb and an explorer's ring or runes to do superheating with. But uh, which would be one nature in four fire runes. So anyway, once you have all that stuff in your inventory, go ahead and tell it to Edgeville. Okay, now that we're in Edgeville, the first order of business is, well, first of all, to activate your aura supreme jack of trades. Boom, it's ready. So now we can start on it. And I also have the green fingers because I just did a farm run. So what you want to do is on your keyboard, press F4. And once you're on this screen right here, just make sure you're on the balanced combat experience because uh, you want to train all your combat skills at once. And now just chop down any tree. If you have done the uh, Ritual of the Majeric quest, Edgeville will look like this, all burnt up and destroyed. And if you haven't done Ritual of the Majeric, it won't look like this. But I've had quite a few people ask me, the last time I ran through Edgeville in a video, a whole bunch of people asked me, like, why is Edgeville all burnt up and destroyed? Well, it's because I did that quest. So anyway, burn a fire, uh, cook a lobster on the fire, craft a log, and use that to fletch. And so we've trained fire making, wood cutting, uh, cooking, and fletching so far. Now we're going to train magic by doing superheat item on the gold ore. And now we're going to do crafting by using the gold ore on the furnace and crafting with it. So that one's done. And now we're going to do summoning by summoning this Barker Toad pouch. Now herb lore by cleaning a marantil. Um, now we're going to do thieving by going into this house here and pickpocketing a man, any kind of man, it really doesn't matter. Now you equip your Karasi sword and you kill the man and you get attack strength, defense, and constitution XP all at once. You take his bones and you bury them and you get prayer XP. You equip the crystal bow and you shoot another man and you get ranging XP. So, uh, what, oh, one thing I really quickly forgot to mention is I'm actually, um, my ranged is set up to train defense right now i'm sorry about that so make sure that you train ranged with your ranged because otherwise it won't count as your range skill so there's the ranging xp so we're almost done here now with your wicked hood um if you don't have the the level to craft nature runes just teleport to the highest level altar um that you can but i would recommend to have the level to craft nature runes because that's pretty helpful here okay so once you get to the nature altar the graphics look kind of messed up. Not sure why that is. It's all kind of black. Maybe they meant for the flowers to be all black. I'm not sure. But yeah, just take the essence out of your hood and craft. And that gives you rune crafting XP. And I do get a lot of essence because I have unlocked all of the wicked robes in the um, the rune crafting mini game. So I just choose to craft them all because, you know, it's 120k worth of nature runes. You might as well craft them all. It's a free 120k. So after you've done that, conveniently, there is a little mining spot right over here. So you can just mine an iron ore, and that will train your mining. And we're almost done. We only have two things more to go. So after you've trained your mining, 
run over to this divination spot and if you don't have 50 divination you won't be able to train divination here that's okay so if you don't have 50 divination what I'd recommend to do is just teleport to any divination spot um, like the one in uh, if you go to the drainer village and just run straight south you can train there at level 1 divination you just need to uh, siphon one energy and after that we're gonna teleport to Eagle's Peak and catch a butterfly or if you see a Chronicle Fragment going around, you can just catch that. I didn't get to that Chronicle Fragment, but that will train your hunter. But we are also going to go to Eagle's Peak and catch a Butterfly to finish off this. If you don't have the hunter level to catch Butterflies, um, another thing you can do... I'll show you in just a second an alternative if you do not have the hunter level to catch these butterflies. Um, to catch them barehanded, I believe you need 80 hunter to catch the ruby harvest barehanded. Um, and I know that is a pretty high requirement, so if you don't have that, don't worry. You can either um, catch a lower level hunting requirement, or I can show you a different place to teleport um, that you can uh, train another skill and you don't need any levels for it. So I have now finished my Jack of Trades. However, if you do not have the 80 Hunter to catch these things barehanded, don't worry. I will show you what to do right now. So you just want to teleport to Taverly and we're going to fish a crayfish because if you have been paying attention, we have not trained fishing yet. So if you'd like, instead of just teleporting to this Eagle Pe Eagle's Peak place, if you don't have the Lodestone unlocked or anything, you can also just teleport to Taverly and just run a little bit to the northeast and there should be some fishing spots here so you can just cage here and catch a crayfish and that can also be your 20th skill if you'd like that instead so there you go and now we're going to remove this thing and go to Varrock and get our reward so what you want to do is just go to the Varrock lodestone and run straight north to the little shop where next to the battle staff shop where the guy gives you your reward book alright so you just talk to Zuan here and he'll say good day and I think the graphics are a little bit messed up because his uh, the his hood thing is not supposed to be black like that if you notice the grass around the nature altar so I train farming with my wicked hood but since I'm 99 with the supreme jack of trades I get 24k farming 24k 257 farming XP if I did dungeoneering with this because my dungeoneering level is 116 I would get 33k dungeoneering XP um, which I'll actually do just for this episode, just so people don't yell at me for being wasteful. But normally I train farming with that. Um, but anyway, if if you are low level, you'll get less XP, obviously. Uh, with the regular Draca trades at level 99, it's about 9k XP. With the Master, it's about like 15k XP. So the Supreme Draca trades definitely helps a lot and gives you a lot more XP. Um, but anyway, if you have the loyalty points for this thing, I'd recommend to do it. And if you can't afford the Supreme Jack of Trades, but you can afford one of the lower two, um, I guess just follow this guide for like the first 10 skills or follow this guide for the first 15 skills. Um, and if you do have the Supreme Jack of Trades, then do all 20 skills that I showed you how to do. But anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. And uh, make sure to get this thing because that, that can be like 15, 20k free agility XP every day and it only takes like two minutes. Um, so it's very, very worth it. So thanks for watching and farewell. Enjoy my friends chat and game. I love you.